guys. So today I'm going to be talking about genre. And you might be thinking to yourself, oh my god, Gretchen, I have heard this before. Shut up. And that is fair. If this is a topic that you're interested in at all, well, you've come to the right place because Michaela and I have done a bunch of discussion on genre. We actually did a live discussion on the genre hierarchy together, which you can see up in the eye if you like. Um, and then after that discussion, we both kind of did our own. And I talked about one about YA specifically and the treatment of YA versus the literary and academic. Um, and then Michaela did one about her weird relationship with fantasy and why she thinks that, that is. So there's that. There's been a couple of different ones that we've done. We've touched on it, but I am back at it again for a very specific reason. And it is a new topic, I promise you. Well, a continued topic. So did you watch our uh, Bibliomancy for Beginners episode on the bone gap because if you didn't this is good because what I'm saying is going to be a little bit more new to you. We were discussing the bone gap by Laura Ruby and talking about how that book is magical realism and Michaela posed the question did you think the magical realism worked in this book? She talked about it saying yes it did because she really loves magical realism and then I chimed in and I said well I don't really like magical realism so I am the wrong person to ask and then Taylor bringing up the rear as always he drops this bomb where he goes I don't believe magical realism is a thing. I think that magical realism is just a term applied to books that are fantasy books but are also literary and they're called magical realism so that they can be differentiated from the negative connotations and the non-literary connotations of fantasy and that set us all off i think i actually shouted and i was like oh my god that explains why i don't like magical realism because that is what i've talked about in my other genre videos i hate genre snobbery and the the snobbery surrounding the literary versus some of my favorite things like young adult fantasy sci-fi etc and hence why we are in this video because it got me thinking about other genres that are labels that either like separate it from something or make it into something else and really don't make sense so magical realism is just where I'll start because I was trying to explain to my family after the hangout itself about this big revelation that we'd had and one nobody in my family is excited about these kinds of things as I am but two my family obviously was asking the difference between magical realism and fantasy and I even got more of a sense of I don't know how I missed it for so long that Fantasy and magical realism are almost impossible to separate um, because just general remarks like maybe in magical realism the focus isn't as much on the fantastical elements. Well, fine, you can get that in fantasy too. Or, you know, magical realism tends to be set in a facsimile of our world. Well, sure, there's fantasy set that way too. And really the only thing I could come up with was that magical realism includes fantastical elements whereas fantasy is more likely to include straight up like I don't know pixies mermaids whatever um, but even that it's wishy-washy right maybe you have a better ability to differentiate these two but when I was looking at just how similar there are I really honestly confused myself about how I'd ever thought they were two different genres to begin with except for that one thing that Michaela was talking about, which is that magical realism is generally considered literary. I have yet to see a magical realism novel that doesn't also count as a literary novel, whatever that means. And fantasy, as we've discussed, generally doesn't get that label. Fantasy is generally considered the unliterary, the popular, the schlock, the trope, whatever, which I think is fair but unfair. But again, I've discussed that all before, don't want to get back to that. 
So then I was thinking about other labels that work like that and I was thought back to our genre hierarchy discussion and how Michaela was like, oh, well, hey, we didn't put chiclet into our hierarchy. And I had to rack my brains for a second and I was like, I, you know, chiclet just kind of falls into, you know, fiction. I don't really think about it. And Michaela said, well, no, you can't think about it like that because chiclet is marketed and packaged in a very specific way. And that was really weird because she's right, of course she's right, but why is Chiclet like that? Because we were talking about what is Chiclet, well it's stories about women, for women, etc. But you also get that in literary fiction. And so what is the difference except for what people perceive in the worth of their writing and the quality of their writing? And maybe, you know, they value some things in Chiclet more, more regularly than they do in literary fiction. But it's just one of those things where if you start thinking about it, these lines get so blurry. And so I really just wanted to pose this as a question to you guys. If you can think of other genres where this is the case, um, or if there are genres that really deserve to be on their own because you know is fantasy an okay catch-all or do we need subgenres or you know should we be calling magical realism something else or maybe you think that I'm wrong and that you know magical realism does have a very specific reason that it's called magical realism instead of fantasy and is considered separate from fantasy instead of a subgenre in that way so I'm really just shooting off at the mouth right now and asking you guys to participate in this discussion because I'm just fascinated by this and again I don't know the exact like time in the bibliomancy episode where this discussion took place but after I finish filming this I will go back into that episode and I will tell you in the description or in the blog post wherever you are what section of that hour-long discussion that we discuss this as a trio in case you are interested so that you don't have to watch the whole hour if you don't want to. Um, but yeah, just really just starting a discussion here. So please comment below, tweet at me, whatever, send me an email even if you want. You know where to find me. All of those links are also down below. So talk to me guys. I'm really fascinated by this. Uh, I told Taylor that he blew my mind and I'm not understating that at all, which shows you the magnitude of how I'm thinking about this because I thanked Taylor. So, ugh. Anyways, start talking to me guys. Let's get the discussion going and I will see you soon. Bye!